defeated. I don't like this one bit. They are everywhere. They're all around us, and we never knew them. They are aliens. We are being bred for slavery. Open your eyes. Take a look. Join the fight. Let's go! Join Rowdy Roddy Piper. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick you. And I'm all out of bubblegum. John Carpenter's They Live Tonight at 8 on Channel 11, New York's movie station. It's the greatest motion picture of all time. Winner of 20 Academy Awards. Um, I'm sorry, our announcer seems to be exaggerating just a bit. A bigger achievement than even Citizen Kane. Well, that part's a direct lie. But it's awfully fun, and Elvira looks just fabulous. Elvira, the motion picture in amazing 2D on NBC Friday. Get ready to scream. Even now, there are great numbers of werewolves living secretly among us. There's no place that's safe. Six bodies were found, mauled and killed. Channel 9 is being taken over by werewolves. Hear yeah, my prayer, O oh Lord. And there's nothing you can do to stop them. It's all true. It's back-to-back -back nights of horror. <laughs> the Howling Horror Fest starts Tuesday at 8 on Channel 9. Remember, you've been warned. Celebrate Halloween with a Monday night special. 17 years worth of not ready for primetime trick or treat from your excellent host, Wayne and Garth, and Saturday Night Live. Stephen King and George Romero, the masters of terror, bring you a frightening tale that will grab you, grow on you, and give you the creeps. It's designed to be extremely painful. Ted Danson, Adrian Barbeau, Leslie Nielsen, the most fun you'll ever have being scared. Creep Show, Tuesday at 8 on Channel 11, New York's movie station. I hate you and your fucking noodle posse. Halloween, crush, 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 crash, crush, crash. That's lightning. Hello, everyone. It, it, look, it's the, it's the girl from the ring. Ooh. Uh, what have you come as? Uh, Nothing. Uh, Lazy. I've got green and purple on, and that's You're a prick. Now we can see shit. It's the only lighting we've got, mate. No, it's not. Turn the big one on. No, this is the only light we've got. This is the whole episode's going to look like this. No, it's not. It is. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is how the show's going to be. Woo! Uh, so I turn the other lights yes. on. All right. We're going to main lights. We take. We're, we're downgrading the spooky. We've gone from very spooky. Well, no, it's not that spooky because you're not dressed as anything. You look like Paul's shitty Gannon. Wait. And he's not. Wait. I'm changing. Uh, uh, it's a full blue moon. Uh, 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 I'm transforming into. Snapple man! <laughs> Ow! Oh, God, sorry! Ow! <laughs> sorry! Calm down! Sorry! That fucking hurt, man. You got me with the hard edge of that Snapple. I forgot it had hard edges. Right, that's it. Fuck's sake. Hello, welcome to Cheap Show Halloween 2020. Woo! Already, I've, oh, I've fucked off with you already. You try and do something, you're so unprofessional, you have to fucking injure your fucking co-host immediately. Fuck me, Eli is tiny, Jesus, he scared the shit out of me there. Yeah, I can understand that. You're like, you're like Troll from the film. Troll. Fuck off. You turn a Shear's ex-husband into a tree. You look like Shear's ex-husband. 
You look like Cher tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Cher. If I could turn back time. Can we introduce the ghosties Ooh. now, please? Yeah, so we've made this very spooky today. Who's this, this, who's this fella? Oh, these are our ghosts. Should we introduce our ghosts? Who's this fella? This fella, I'll tell you what, I'll put him on cam too for close-up action. This is Robo Death. 4,000 from the future. Yeah. And he talks like this. Incredibly. Eli is going to die. Oh, can I just uh, congratulate you on the fucking creativity you've shown when naming that fucking balloon. All right, what's Fucking yours? twat. I, I've got Mr. Henry and Jubilee Simon. Mr. Better. Henry. Mr. Henry and Jubilee Simon. <laughs> yes. Show me Mr. Henry. Who's this? Oh, no, that's Mr. Henry. Hang on, where's... Right, go on. Mr. Henry. I'll show it. That's Mr. Henry. What does Mr. Henry do? He's fucking terrifying. He'll chomp you with his big brick teeth. Does he have a voice? No, he doesn't have a voice. Uh, I'm Mr. Mr. Henry. Mr. Henry. And I will... Uh, uh, and I will show you how to get to Margate for £47. Who's this guy? Return. This guy, oh, you're going to love him. He's everyone's favourite new character. Why? He, S Silly Bill. Silly Bill. That's Boy, really the best you can woo, do. He's silly, silly Bill the ghost. I didn't think we were going to name these ghosts tonight. I just thought we'd go, that's pretty. Now, are you ready for the ghost pièce de résistance? Wait, Silly Bill hasn't finished. Uh, what the fuck does he want to say then? Um, uh, uh, why, are, why are skeletons so confident? Because they've got a bone up them. No, because there's no bones about them. What? Their decisions, they have no... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. They don't make no bones about it. Yeah, something like that. But they do make bones, because that's all they are. They are bones, I know. Did you try... Was that a remembered joke? Or... Right, are you ready for the piste de, piste de resistance? Yeah. Woo! Behold! Jubilee Simon! Hang on. Jubilee Simon. Oh, oh, he's terrifying. Oh, Isn't he terrifying? Look at him drooling. Oh, he's, he's, I like he's a hungry I like ghost. That, I like that touch. He's a hungry ghost. Is he like a slimer? Is, is he like a slimer? Slimer's a hungry ghost as well. Ooh, does he have a voice? Yeah, go on. I'm Jubilee Simon. Do not do that to Jubilee Simon. <laughs> do whatever I fucking, fucking like. Fucking twat, to Jubilee really Simon. Me. And that was an accident. I thought I'd get you on, on the wasn't top. That of it. Oh, it was, that's an accident when you're trying to hit something. So if I took a hammer. And went bang! I thought it was the soft hammer. That'd be an accident, would it? Yeah, because you knew Fuck. the hammer was hard in the first place. Fuck you! No one's ever in the life bought a soft hammer. Have you? What's the good of a soft hammer? What are you doing? What are you doing over there? Why have you gone off camera? The people want to see you. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, it's what people want, mate. Is it? Yes. Is this, what they, is this really what people Ooh. want? Ooh. Ooh, it's nudging. Nudge. Get my inflatable nudge on. Right. Right, have you spent? I'm spent. Right. Does he have a name? Who? Is that inflatable got a name? Is it like Catholic Adam or something like that? <laughs> no, he's called Johnny Come. Ca Catholic Alan the T-Rex. He's not Catholic. Right, Church of England. Whatever, mate. Hi, everybody. Hello. So there may be some strong language in the following show. We've got some lovely things lined up for you today. Don't you, Mr. Silverman? We certainly do. What have we got coming up on the stream today, Paul? Wow. Well, we've got some spooky ghost science. We're going to be making ectoplasm. Yeah. And we'll be making floating ghosts. And, and it better not destroy any of the electronics in here because you will be fucking paying for it. All right. Well, we should be fine. There's small little uh, experiments for kids. Are you sure? Yes. I'll show briefly what I'm talking oh. about. So I got this years ago for Cheap Show. We just never got around to using it. And I thought, fucking hell, whatever. It's this. I'm gone. Ghost Science. Mega hit instructions. Oh, excuse me. And there's... We're going to be making a few in here. We've got the stuff we need. We have our vinegar. Vinegar is very important. And a currently hot but will be warm water. Is I it, like the bottle. Is it hot? 
Or no, it, it was hot when you put it, it in. It's only tepid still. Yeah. I hope it doesn't have to be too warm. No, it, tep- it just says warm water, which well, I presume it's, is it's that's tepid. fine. You could um, fall asleep and I could stick your little finger in there and you'd piss yourself. Mythbusters have proven that that doesn't work. It doesn't, does it? No. Do you know what I had a dream about? I don't want to I'm not saying it's this. a weird dream. I'm just saying I had a dream. Yeah. Basically, my records come in boxes, yeah? Like, and I had a dream that I put it to help with something. I tied my record box to a bunch of balloons. And I thought, oh, they'll just stay there. But then they fucking flew away. And I'm (laughs) running out. I had to DJ with them. And they're like, fucking gone. How'd you get them down? I didn't. I woke up. Oh, great, mate. That is a great dream story. Should we look into the psychology of that? No. I think it's about you losing your career because the DJ clubs have all closed and things like that. that. And you're basically, you're metaphorically watching your industry yeah, yeah. float away. And then it definitely no is to do to with the anxiety mm. around my work. There's yeah. a lot of anxiety. Anyway, there. if you like records, we'll be playing some spooky oh. sound effects for Paul's delectation a bit later. I'm looking forward to that. Also... We're going to be contacting the dead with this. A pound land uh, Ouija board. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we're going to be trying to speak to the dead because there's quite a lot of dead people, you know. Have you got any particular dead people you want to try and contact? Bobby Ball, Bruce Forsyth, and any other impression I can do. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know who's going to come through. Oh, look. What about... Um, and a planchette. Adolescent Sasquatch. There will be no characters from the world of Oh, Chico yeah, there will be. The there already tonight. is, look. Oh, oh well, he's, this I'm is a, a character. I'm Jubilee Simon. What's the problem? I sound a bit like Tony Yasser. Oh, ah! Right, good. Violent! Now, God, stop it. If you like penis coladas, <laughs> I'm getting drunk in the rain. If you like penis, it's harder. Oh. Let's go do that. Going down in the rain. Yeah. Da, if you like my da, penis to get harder. There we go. And sapping can in the rain. Right, <laughs> great. So yeah, we'll strong swim. language. We can, but we just need to say this is not a kiddie show. Sapping and there cunt. is I'll be there is there is you don't have to fucking oversay it's, it then. It smells like you're sapping a cunt there. <laughs> I don't like this at all. I don't all. like me. I don't like this at all. No. no. It's the coconut aftertaste I don't oh. like. I like the lemony, pineapple-y... Mm, well, you should have known aftertaste. pina colada is, is I've a never coconut. had one. That's why I got this. I've never That's had bullshit. one. Yeah, yeah. It's utter bullshit. What's your favourite cocktail? Martini. How'd you take it? Extra, extra dry. Like your wit. I like a gin martini, extra, extra dry. Mm. With a twist, if you must know. What's the twist? Do you get it served to you with... I stick with... it into my arse. I get it siphoned into my arse and then I have a fucking... Booze overdose. Very dangerous. Don't do that at home. Never put booze up your ass because A, it's dangerous and B, it makes you a massive stupid dickhead. Also, throughout the night, this room is haunted. Go with me on this. So I brought me K2 meter, which you may have seen recently in action when we did our, uh, when we did the digitizer Halloween special. There it is. Look, turn it on. If you haven't seen uh, this year, It's probably picking up on... um... Oh, it's picking up on the laptop because of the Wi-Fi. No, it's picking up on... Um... Is it? Yes! It's not picking anything Look at it. that! No, it's doing nothing. That's what it should be doing. Jubilee is Simon is a very strong spirit. He's not because it's got one yes, green Yes, he is. Light. He's a very nothing. strong spirit. It nothing. I love Jubilee if Simon. If you haven't seen this year's Digital <laughs> Halloween special... Don't do that! <laughs> don't do that! <laughs> don't... <laughs> oh! Oh! Do you mind? Oh, Cy Coulson says get Keith. We should get Keith for the finale. We need his special powers for the I'll, Ouija board. We'll see about that. It's a good point. Well, we'll made. See about that. well made. Well made. Yeah. So I got this. And if you, mate, I will burst. I will burst Jubilee Norman. Whatever the <laughs> fuck his name is. I don't know his name. Right, but I've I will say his name him. about eight times. I don't listen. You're fucked in the head, mate. Mm-hmm. Right, so. Uh, you, people who watch a lot of ghost shows, like Most Haunted and whatnot, will see these. It's a K2 meter. I'll go over it again. It reads EMF, electromagnetic frequencies, things like uh, microwaves and Wi-Fi and things like that. Electricians use them, by and large, to measure the uh, output. Do you know an electromagnetic wave is is everything? Yeah. All light is electric. But light is an electromagnetic wave. Here's the thing. Wave. So what? Well, it picks is... up light. 
No, but it's not because it's very. It's a, what's it's the what bandwidth? The bandwidth is there. Isn't yeah, because yeah. that's like normal so exposure levels. It doesn't whatever. go to X rays or anything. No, or gamma rays. Or... Well, I mean, it would, but it probably go off infrared. The I don't know. Have you got anything infrared? You got a Game Boy Color? Oh, I could use a remote control. That's infrared, isn't it? You could. That's a good. That's a good idea, actually. Just get that and stick that in there. So all you got to do is just press a press a button at it. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. So there you go, nothing. But the thing is, on TV shows, they use these in the in Britain. And the thing is, these are mostly American tools, and so they're more sensitive because of the higher output of power. So uh, they're too sensitive to use in the UK. But we're going to have it on here. What do you mean too you're sensitive? Well, like you know, because we don't have as much stronger power outage in the UK as America. That's why you have step down converters. If you buy a thing in America, you have to power it. You know what I mean? They have they have this bigger output, don't they? Do they? It's yeah. more than two hundred and forty volts. Well, yeah, because you have to do a step down. If you if it back back a couple of years ago, not so much now with laptops and USB and stuff, but back then, you were uh, yeah, had to down. get a step down convert. I bought a mini disc from America, but then realised if I charged it at home, it would blow it up. So I had to buy a step down converter to whatever. Anyway, they're too sensitive, but we're going to use it to measure for ghosts tonight. Watch the digitizer special. Actually, oh. before we get on to the first segment. I think that's all we're doing tonight. Oh, we're Bob Apples. We're going to be bobbing for no, apples. No, we're not going to bob for apples. We're going to bob for apples. We're going to bob for apples. Uh, Mr. Biffo from the Digitizer has sent us a lovely Halloween message. Would you like to see that and get the show off and going? Oh, I can't believe it, boys and girls. Here's Mr. Biffo. Ah. Hello, it's Mr. Biffo here. You might know me from such YouTube channels as Digitizer, on which I feature with Paul Gannon and occasionally Eli. Um, I understand that for the Cheap Show Halloween special, which is, uh, by the way, I should, this is, this podcast too. Uh, for the Cheap Show Halloween special, um, I understand you're going to be communing with the dead. Well, I don't know if anyone saw yesterday's Digitizer Halloween special, but we beat you to it. Look, this is Muriel. Some of you who have seen the Digitizer Halloween special will know that Muriel is, at least on the outside, a ghost vessel, a normal a doll, but on the inside she's a 68-year-old Scottish woman who is now dead. Uh, on the Digitizer Halloween special we, we asked some very special celebrity guests what their spookiest moments were, including uh, the copyright... Digitizer 2020 character Fat Sal, what their uh, scariest moments were. And so I'm going to ask Muriel what her scariest moment is now that I've learned to commune with her formerly mortal form. So, Muriel, are you with me? Ow! Muriel, Muriel, yeah, I'm getting her. Muriel. You probably had some, some spooky adventures in your time as a uh, previously 68-year-old woman. Uh, would you like to tell me some? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. Ashfrith is the other one. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah, Paul Gannon, Eli Silverman. Right, right. Well, I don't know. Um, I mean, I mean, if it's not a good time for you, I could. See, this is the thing. It's Halloween, so it's 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 kind of um, it's it's kind of time sensitive. So it would have to be tonight, ideally. Uh, but. No, 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 it's fine. Honestly, if you've got it, uh, no, 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 no. You do what you've got to do. Um, I'll just tell them um, that it didn't work out. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. All right, bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye Muriel. Sorry, um, good busy tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're back in the room. Thank you, Mr. Biffo, for those words. Do you think Muriel's really haunted? Or someone on eBay is just getting sh charity shop dolls and going, eh, there's a Muriel in this and she's 68 and she doesn't How like How much men. did he pay? 
How much did you pay, Biffo? In the chat room, how much did you pay for that? I've got incense, by the way. Because that doll looks like the kind of thing you buy in a plastic tube in an Edinburgh shop, tourist shop. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, it's a piece of shit. It's a piece of crap and it doesn't have a ghost in it. There's no mule reel. You got suckered by an eBay con man or con lady, con person or con quistador. Right, what are people saying? I've missed it if he's written anything now. Biffo, just call me, mate, if I want to know how much the doll was. You're probably watching it. It was fucking, I bet it was pants, like 20 quid. Halloween pants. I bet it was about 20, 30 quid. Oh, and it's worth pounds. literally about 80p. 80, 50p, if that. It's or a little dolly that, out of its tube. Fucking if that. Just trying to see. Six pound. Is that what he said? Biffo is here, the Biffo, the Biffo. The Six Biffo. pound, five, Biffo. fair enough. Right, get your records on. We're going to go, right, you're going to use your collection. Show me the records first, so we know what we're dealing with. We're going to create for you now, ladies and gentlemen, a Halloween soundscape of spooky noises to get you in the Halloween mood. We hope you enjoy them. What have you got for us today? Oh, let me put it on camera too. Look at this. BBC sounds, effects, death and horror. That's good, isn't it? What's this next one? Sound effects number 21, more death and horror. What's this one? Video game breaks and sound effects. That's good, isn't it? Contains sounds and themes from classic video games like Spy Hunter, Pac-Man, Gallagher, Zelda, Metroid, Defender, Double Dribble, Rygard, Mr. Do. Mr. Do? Pineapple. No, Popeye. I don't know why I said pineapple. Then I said a Popeye. Oh. He's not going to sell many ice creams going at that speed. I love that. Guy. <laughs> Oi! Right. <laughs> Oh, I'm on that one. Have you changed? Yeah, I'm changing it back now. <laughs> Pauly did a joke! <laughs> right, so, you're going to play these records, am I right? And, I, and you're going to create a Halloween soundscape for me. Alright, so I'm getting, in the, I'm getting into the space of it. So I'm very psychic, if you didn't know. I'm very, very psychic. I, I, actually, we should mention this. Before we get started, the balloons, right, completely by accident, me and Eli drew basically the same thing. Because look, I was blowing him up and he was doing it. first one. And, and then this is my second. Well, can you remember his name? No. You can't even remember his name. Silly Bill. Yes, so Silly, Silly Bill. Bill. Right. I drew this one and then you drew that ghost face, right? Ghost. Ooh. Jubilee Simon. Kind of tortured ghost faces, right? With and the then, mouth, open mouth. And then separately, we both did like a robot face. Ooh, Let's got... make him a kiss. Would you like to have a good time? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're trying to pop him, right? No, I wanted to get into it. Come on. Get in. <laughs> you killed him! Oh, sorry, people don't like that, do they? I don't like that! <laughs> so don't do that, right? Doesn't matter. Right, we're going to change the mood and create a soundscape. Go on. Go on. What's this? No, it's right, okay. Create the soundscape. What? Where, where are we starting on our soundscape adventure? Do you know? Um, some heartbeat, babe. Uh, heartbeats. Heartbeat. Right. So, what? Where am I imagining now? I'm like a minute. Okay. Ah! Come on, set the scene. Where am I? In the house with someone screaming. Right, good. <laughs> oh no! They're torturing people upstairs. Oh, that's or... terrible. There's torture. <laughs> oh no! There's horrible torture. That's terrible. Where am I now? I'm walking down the corridor, and I'm opening the door. What do I see? <laughs> it's Jimmy Savile. Oh no! Now you're outside. I'm outside now. Ooh. Oh, it's windy and rain. I think is that what is it? And there's crackling. Someone's crackling. And <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! It's good, isn't it? No, it's scared the shit out of me. Yeah, do it. Ooh, hang on. How about this? Oh, where are we now? All right, I've walked outside the haunted house. No, I'm in the graveyard now. And there are tombstones and skeletal hands climbing over. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I'm battling through the fog and I can see the dead everywhere. Oh, right, that's good. Where are we now? 
up someone's bum. We're up someone's <laughs> bum. Is that the effort you're going to put in today? Yeah. There you go. It's very dry. There's a cherub. Cheruping. Cricket. Arse crickets, Paul. Arse crickets, Eli. Arse crickets, Paul. Arse crickets are not very Halloween y. Right, like no one, one goes, oh, do you like Freddy? Do you like Jason? Do you like arse crickets? No one says that. Like this. Right, next. Right. Oh, this is good. I'm going out into a, a, a ghostly tundra. The wind is howling. Oh, there's a haunted house in the distance. I see a gate. I'm going to open the gate. I'm going to go up the steps. See? It sounds like someone fucking a dead pig. Oh. 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 Amazing for me. <laughs> that would have been so turned on. How about some excellent? Some, some, right. Now you've gone into a haunted arcade. I'm going into a haunted, spooky arcade. All oh, the video game kids will like this one. All the retro dudes. Here we go. All right. Let's go make some crazy money. What was that? <laughs> Wait, watch. Oh shit. Hey, this isn't Halloweeny. I'll tell you what is Halloweeny, Paul. Yeah, because this Tetris isn't Halloweeny. What have you got that's possibly going to terrify our audience, make them scream, make them leap out of their seats in absolute abject terror? Do you have anything, Mr. Silverman, yes, that could possibly fill in the remit of a Halloween Horror Night? What have you got for us? Slow down, Noel Edmonds. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Hello, this is Noel Edmonds. The other side of this record is a message to you on your special day. I've been asked to send it to you by someone who cares about you. Oh, <laughs> and I won't be too happy to do so. Because special days are worth remembering. It's what a serial killer the says. With this record, it's a it's like the saw jigsaw pencil. killer. It's a good idea to pin it up and use it to keep a note of other people's special days. Wait. You know, birthdays, anniversaries, Mother's Day, Father's Day. What does they want to, to see that? Day. No, this is no lobot. No lobot. That way you can be sure you don't forget any special days either. After all... It's as satisfying to post off your special day greeting as it is to receive them. Anyway, I hope you like the record. And I hope you like this too. Oh, God, I don't like that bit at the end. I hope you like this too. That was horrible. I can't believe it. Is that all you've got now? Is that it? We're done? Yeah. Right, good. What a great segment. <laughs> Ela Silverman's segment, ladies and gentlemen, is Records of Horror. Thanks. No, I was really underwhelming. At least you didn't fuck me with a dinosaur, though, like we'd uh, rehearsed. So, excellent. I did that at the beginning. Oh, no. You blew, you blew your load too early. Too early. No, right, um, fuck you, man. Oh, you hit me with that. You don't know how to do accident. anything. Accident. It's just, it, you've got all bossy. You're all bossy, like, ooh, ooh, we're doing a, a stream. It's all bossy, bossy. There's no fucking space for fucking humour to breathe. All right, go on. You, Eli Silverman, ladies and gentlemen, two minutes of stand-up. Go on. Let humour breathe. I was, uh, I was in a bar the other day. Yeah. Right, and uh, I go up to the bar, right? I go up to the bar, and then I say, Hey! I'm like, what? And then... Humour's suffocating <laughs> at the moment, Eli. Just for, you know, humour's gasping for air. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, what have you got? I'm not, I'm not oh, that's how you make humour, is not... it? I try and do something creative, and this is how you make humour. Attacking me. No, all I'm Fuck saying you. is you've not delivered so far on your promise of letting humour breathe. If nothing else, you've put it like you've got to a give sock it a moment. down its throat and close you... its mouth with gaffer tape. You've got to give humour a moment. If I'm giving it... Go on, go on. 
So, so I go, I you in a bar and you went, eee, and that's it. That's quite funny. It's when not, you say it back to me like that. No, it's Roland Rat. It's quite funny. No, it's Roland Rat. Not ee, not like ee. You're ruining this Halloween special. Oh, fuck your mum. How dare you. <laughs> and afterwards, let me fucking... No. <laughs> Put the sack in the oven. That's what they want. They it's want not. me to talk about putting vegetables in the oven. Is that what your whole career is? Giving them what they want? Why not? That's because what you've got to give them something new and then that something new could be what you give them later. I was giving them new. I was giving them an experimental joke I've been right. working on. We're doing ghost science now. Ooh, ghost science. So we're going to... We've got this. Where is it? Fucking, fucking webcam at the bottom of the camera. What's the point of that? Right. So it gets it nice. It gives you a good... Uh, Ghost. It's a flattering shot of your prick, isn't it? If you're doing something kind of online, you know, webcam stuff. I don't think. If that's you think if your knobs kind of coming up here, it makes it look larger, doesn't it? Then it would like putting going down on it. That's what everyone. That's why all blokes take dick pics where they're looking over their knob like that, like that. And it's sort of foreshortened. Do you know what I mean? Look, look. I'll do it with your face. Just imagine that was your knob. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're going to do some science did you get a little plate uh, I didn't should we use the ashtray no we'll use uh, the back of the no no I can get a plate man. we'll get a plate then fuck's sake don't complain don't go I, I, ask me for a I did plate. ask you for a plate it's ages better not ago. be fucking messy either it's not it's just two simple experiments how can they possibly there's nothing explosive in here. So, we're going to do two ghost experiments on Halloween. We're going to start off by making some... Where is it? Glowing ectoplasm. That's exciting, isn't it? We're going to make actual glowing ectoplasm. Have we got a plate yet? Good, that's a plate. Nicely done. Uh, so, I'm just saying, we're going to start off by, <coughs> by making ectoplasm. And do you know who coined the term ectoplasm? Shakespeare. No, it was a, a, a guy called Charles Richet in 1923. Was he a spiritualist? No, he was a Nobel Peace Prize winner. Um, I've got the actual... Why did he win the... Because of ectoplasm? No, let me see if I can find... Because that's a very obscure reason to win, that Nobel. No, so... Naming ectoplasm. There was a... So there was a, so when this, there's a book I bought recently called like Illusions of the Mind or something like that, about spiritualism all, and All psychics. illusions are of the mind. Shit title. Don't, come on, I'm just annotating. Just keep going. I don't like it when you <laughs> annotate. Right, so I got this book, and it was based on that showing at the, uh, there was the, the little well, welcome centre near Euston Station. There's a museum there where they do exhibitions. This is the book that went along with that. And there's a whole history, the whole book is about the history of like psychics and mediums and scientists and psychiatrists and debunkers and ghost hunters around like the 1800s. Uh, the end of the 1800s, beginning of the 1900s. Um, and there's a whole bit about how this one psychic used to have like you know people from around the world come and see the shit and this particular psychic would produce what became known as ectoplasm from his nose and mouth it's which as we all know was, was all like cotton fiber and whatever they yes because those uh, the techniques that that uh, they can what they call it when you restore a photograph yeah there's all they all use all kinds of tricks egg yolk and but uh, no but then nowadays when they can properly use they use ai to restore photographs really well yeah you can see that it's all gone oh yeah it's no, because it's... of the quality of the original shots well even when you look at the pictures now just as they are you go that's fake it looks like blancmange with a mask on top of a face yeah so it's not that good but what's so, ectoplasm meant to be Do, well i'll what... tell you now okay so nobel he was a nobel prize winning physiologist called charles richet 1850 to uh, 1935 um oh, fuck this fucking phone <sighs> Let me just rotate it, because, you know, why not? That's just great. Here we go. Save. Save. Restoration. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Charles Richet coined the term ectoplasm to describe the extraordinary substance that made up Palladino's mysterious supernatural limbs. Because it wasn't just stuff come out the nose. Sometimes you grow arms. Go, and things, yeah. But it was basically yeah, that's, puppetry. That's good, isn't it? It was impressive. A lot of what these psychics were doing at the time were visually surprising and amazing and scary, but ultimately all forgery. Um, ectoplasm, uh, so he'd made it up the limbs. Ectoplasm would go on to become a staple of physical mediumship demonstrations. Subsequent practitioners would claim to manifest not just supernumerary, supernumerary appendages, but faces and even entire figures. 
Mediums produce ectoplasm excretions from every conceivable orifice. Did they pull it out their arse? They must have, right? Why would you? They've got ectoplasm coming out. You can say it. Mate, I've got, I, I'm so psychic, I've got ectoplasm coming out of my arse and then literally pull so out. So what do they do? Have a really nasty curry the night before? Yeah. And then they go... <laughs> and then just go big gooey. You know. No, why would a curry make you you're gooey out your nose? Why bring up curry? Because you said it comes out your ass. Right. Whenever... Like, you get the squits. Whenever investigators... I get luminous shit sometimes when I drink heavily. It gets all yellow. People will you know. You say this in public. You know that, right? People know that. It gets yellow, doesn't it? You've been on the on the shandy all night. Next day, it's very yellow. Stainy yellow. It's fizzy, hurty I'm water. To do, I'm trying to and talk about it, ectoplasm, and you're talking about shitty arse You haven't boobs. seen my fucking stuff. Right. It is ectoplasm, You're going to shut up mate. so I can just get through this, and we can do the experiment. I'll never let you. Right. So, many people try to get sa uh, samples of the substances. Uh, I'll give you a sample. Whenever investigators were able to Do you want an ectoplasm sample? sample? I can give you one now. The substance give was us usually a indistinguishable for either cheesecloth <laughs> or animal intestines. So there you go. So he coined it. And then well, what did he say it was? He just said it was ever that came out of their bodies that turned into arms and faces or whatever. It was a, the medium of which spirits were made. Yes. Yes. So but we're going to make... In the Ghostbusters, I know we're not talking about that, but <laughs> in Ghostbusters, Paul, yeah. ectoplasm is more of a sort of byproduct. It doesn't manifest it's, it's, the... You no, know what I mean? it's, it's what's like, left behind when a ghost yeah, contacts it's like, the yeah. reality, the physical yeah. world. It's so, a byproduct. So... I think we need this and this for the first one. Right. Oh, it looks good. Looks like some good shit. Yeah. Right, so, what do we do? Glowing ectoplasm. What we need is slime powder, which I believe is that in there. Uh, we need some warm water, which we have here. And we also have some glow paint, which is this little pot here. So let me just show that to the little camera. The little squishy pot. It's, it's only little it. kids' science fucking test for ghosts. Stop being a prick about it. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Just turn on your enthusiasm for a bit, all right? Just fucking give hell. Give me a break. Right. So. I am enthusiastic. We need a bowl. A little bowl to mix it in. Well, you said little plate. Yeah, but we need a little bowl now. We'll just just do that. Bowl. No, because like we need to mix it. We can't mix it on a plate, can we? We can't even do that. We can't mix it on a plate. We can. I want to, right, okay. Yes, we can. We can. We're going to do mix it on a plate, so, right, so just don't do a lot of it. Well, it says mix no. slime powder, so that I don't know how much, I presume the whole lot, yeah, and glow paint slowly into a warm water. No, so mate, we're going to need a bowl. Get a bowl, stop being lazy, and go the two second walk to your kitchen to get a small bowl. Thank you. So, what do we do? Mix the slime powder and the glow paint. Oh, it's on this camera. Sorry, mix the slime powder and the glow paint in a little bowl of water. And then stir until it becomes thick and viscous. Once the mixture becomes thick, pick it out of the bowl, turn off the lights, and watch your ghostly ectoplasm glow. Oh, what is ectoplasm? Ectoplasm, also known as ghost, ghost slime, is a substance that paranormal creatures leave behind when passing through solid objects. I think you'll find I was correct about that. So, here we go. This is exciting, isn't it? You got the bowl. I think I put the whole lot in, you know. It Can I do it, please? Yeah, you're going to need something to mix it with. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> get a spoon. You can't, honestly. <laughs> get a spoon. Use one of your things. I haven't got any things to mix it with, have I? I'll use this lighter. No, you're not going to mix slime. It'd be fine. Right, okay. Come so on, here it's we nice. go. This is here nice. we go. Right, wait. Ready to mix. Into the bowl of water. So we're going to put it in. I'll just put a little bit of that in because I don't know how much it needs. Oh, it's exciting. We're making our own slime. That's enough. We need to put all this in. Ready? Go on. Right, and then you can put the paint in. I don't know how. I don't know if it's powder or not, so be careful. Mm -hmm. What is it? Is it paint? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so... Okay. Do you have a pen knife? No. We need a pen knife or something. Right. Mix Oh, slime. it's green. It turns oh, green Oh, it's all going it touches... in green. Right, stir it. I don't know if people can see oh, it. Oh, look at that. I don't know if people can see it. Ah, fuck. Oh, it is going green, though. Oh, look. Right, now put in some of the glow paint, because that's important. I tell you what, I've got. Where's me? Where's me little doodad? Have you? you could here. I'll do it. All right, here we go. And it shoot. You gotta keep stirring it until it goes viscous. It says and slimy. So this is the glow paint going in. It's very exciting, this, isn't it? We're making science happen. Come on, love. Right, that will do. That will do. It's, is it getting thicker, love? Yeah. 
It is, it's getting thicker. It looks very ectoplasmically. It's good, isn't it? Was it green originally, back in the 1800s? I don't know. That's a good point. I think slime green is just, you think of snot, you think of mucus. I know, I but I reckon it was meant to be white before. Yeah. And in Ghostbusters, it's it's clear, isn't it? It's very snotty. In the first one, it's, it is snotty, but then in Ghostbusters 2, it's mostly pink. Isn't of it? course, the it is pink, slime. yeah. Yeah. Mood slime. I wonder why they decided not to go for green. Mixing it up. To distinguish it from Slimer, because then I wish people would think Slimer was made of it, didn't they? Well, he is made of it, isn't he? You could say he is. He's ectoplasm. No, because I, this is what I was trying to say. In the Ghostbusters universe... Oh, this lumpy bit. Sorry. Yeah, but we, we needed a proper stirrer for this, really, didn't we? No, it's fine. It's getting viscous. How long does it take? It doesn't say how long it takes to mix and then become slimy. Because we've got to make it glow in the dark next as well, which is cool. Can I stir it for a bit? Is it very flammable? No, why would wrong? they? No, I don't believe they make it flammable for kids. Careful, mate. He's shaking the whole house down. <laughs> right, let's. That is that is that's pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty good. It's still a bit lumpy. He says lots of lumps. That's the uh, glow in the dark paint. The lumps. Yeah. Oh, look at my hands. It's got slime on. Oh, like ghosts have. You need a, you're going to need a towel, aren't you? Yeah. Go get a towel from the kitchen. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. And a spoon. <laughs> this is exciting. Oh, it's very sticky. Oh, look. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Hang on. This, I know this is much more fun for us than it is for you. Too, it's too bright, you twat. I'm going back to camera one. Look at that. Uh, it's on my hands. Did you get it? No, I'll just use that. No. Oh, yeah, I can't because that's hiding up your app. Come on. Come on. Fuck's sake. Right, tell you what. This is probably enough now. I'm going to put it under the light. I'm going to put it under the light. I just bought the spoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's very, it's very thick now. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, we've made slime happen. That is actually fucking cool. Right, ready for glow in the dark? Yeah, let's do glow in the dark. Ready? Hang on. I think this will be enough. Right, let's see if it goes. Ready? No. Keep it on till the end of the show. We'll right, see let's see how it goes. We'll keep it under lit conditions. Right, next put it up there. Oh, all right, I'll put it up here. And then point their finger to it. I'll do that then. There you go. Right, happy now it's dark. I've got to bring light over here now. Fine. Right, here we, we go. Have three lights. Here. Next experiment. Stop panicking. Fucking Don't you ruin down. Halloween for me. I'm having fun. You're not having fun. You're having a huge go at me and not preparing me with any of the shit that we actually needed for any of this. Right. I told you before the show we needed a bowl, plate, some You did not with, say and bowl. And you went, and I've got one more time for a smoke before we show Oh, I, look, I'm the Crack smoker. the window. I'm the one who habitually <laughs> smokes the, cannabis the... mixed with tobacco all day long. Yeah, but you... Every 20 you, minutes you, you do smoke a of cocaine off Keith's No, back. I don't. Not so since the lockdown. Matter. Right, next. Next. Fucking hell, mate. You're such, a, such an annoying cunt. <laughs> Honestly, you're you really ruining are. my science experiment. Right, the next thing we're going to make is... Get the spoon, for fuck's sake. We don't need a spoon for this one. We're going to make a ghost rocket hovering ghosts. So, Ooh. we need chemical one. This is called chemical one. Okay. We need two plastic containers yeah. with lids and vinegar. All vinegar right. I've got. Right, so... You d put that and I'll, that I'll the be camera. the vinegar man. I'll be the vinegar squirter. Right, you're the vinegar man. I'm the vinegar squirter. Hello, vinegar man. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, come on, say it again. I'm the vinegar squirter. Doesn't work for me. Right, okay. <laughs> <You're> so, <laughs> I don't know how much it puts into this. So, it says, you need... Using a black felt Someone tip. say murderer in the comments, please. If you want to draw a little ghost face on the... Do you want to draw a little ghost face on this? Because this will go... No, over the no, ghost. No, I don't. You don't want to draw a little It'll ghost. Be a faceless face. ghost. They're more scary. That is true, actually. I think so. It would be like that. But that's fine. Right. 
go right we need black, stick some in right. there remove the cap from the bottom of the canister are you doing two or one we'll just do one for now right uh, remove the cap from the bottom of the canister fill the canister a third of the way with vinegar into the open end I can help you with that so there we go so how much does it say a third remove fill the, one third of the way with vinegar next when ready carefully open the foil bag and add two capfuls yeah. of chemical one what does it mean by capfuls like cap that's yes. a capful all right, two capfuls to ca and then snap the lid onto the container. When ready, turn your ghost container over, give it a little shake, this is and gonna set explode it down, everywhere. and then move at least two meters away. I'm not, I'm not doing this. Within a minute, the ghost will rise. I, oh, it's fine. It is not fine, Paul. I don't know how much. How much does it say you put in? Two capfuls. It says move two meters away. It's just in case it goes into your face. It's going to go on us and on my television. You will. It's exciting, isn't it? It's now, not exciting. Attention. And then what do you. Do you put the. Oh, wait. It's in a bag within a bag. Fucking hell. That's because it's Look dangerous. That. If it gets near fucking vinegar. <laughs> fucking hell. I've got to have my misgivings about this fucking shit. We're making a ghost rocket. It's not. There we go. I don't even know what chemical 2 is. I'm just going to pile it all up. All right, that's enough. Through. That's enough. Paul, that's enough. There we go. Ready? What are you going to do? Put it up! That was very vigorous. I thought it was just going to do this. It's fine. I'm not it's doing the, the rest plate. of the stream. That's it. You can deal with this. <laughs> Fuck you. Make sure there's nothing on anything. There's nothing on anything. It's I all knew on the that plate. Was gonna, everyone fucking knew that was gonna what was gonna happen. What's this? Oh, it's a dead balloon. I think that was a thrilling. What have you broken? Nothing. Nothing's yeah, broken. Someone, something nothing will be broken. fucking broken. Nothing is Fuck broken. you. Come on. No, it's oh, not funny. Right, in that case. You come round here. Come round here. You come round here. <laughs> come round here. Oh, dude, it's there. It's in his living room. It's only where he fucking lives. We'll fucking destroy his it's living room. Nothing destroyed. It's fine. That's water, you baby. It's not water, Shut it's up. vinegar. It's vinegar then, you baby. We're shitting. It's just going to stay fine. in the ceiling. It's I'm going to get gonna, thrown out of where I live. It's not going to happen. Calm down. What? Clean the ceiling. What about clean the couch when you drop your pen on it and it's well, slipped all over that? So what are you going to do? Clean the fucking thing. <laughs> clean the ceiling. I'll clean it. But it's now. Fine. It's droplets. How are we going to clean the ceiling? Stand on I'll... the sofa right. and clean the ceiling and don't break it. So if I break the... I, you're going to need to... Do not break it. I can't reach that, and you definitely can't right, reach come it. Right, come on. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. <laughs> right, maybe not do that. So. Let's just leave it for now. I'll tell, <laughs> tell you what. I'll tell you what. Jesus Christ. i tell you what, boys and girls. Uh... How about we give a little trailer? I've got fucking, we've got, we've got, it's vinegar. Calm down. Chem no, it's not. It's chemical number one. On me. Right. So on my books. Right. It's, on my record player. A, That's not nothing, even my record player. It's nowhere near your record player. It's not There's my no record splash. player. That's the point, Paul. No That's a fucking antique. You know, that you know is. what? Would you like to play a little trailer, a, a sneak peek of the Polybius heist with you in Stuart? That was extreme. You've pushed, me, you've pushed me oh, too far. <laughs> <laughs> this shit. Come round here. I, fucking destroying my stuff. I With your shit. I stink of fucking chips now as well. Yeah, well, you stink usually of worse. So this is fine. <laughs> you but stink of chips. Would you like to see you... Uh, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Would you like to see it, boys and girls? I wonder what happens if you fucking... Do <laughs> <a> fall. <laughs> I want you to blow your head off. Don't. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, here's an exclusive Eli-centric teaser trailer for Stuart Ashen's film, Fuck Ashen's yeah. and the Polybius Heist. Why not pre-order now? Details on his website and on Twitter and stuff, but here we go. We've got Benny, whose irritating curiosity kicked this whole thing off. Hello, gentlemen. Freedom is fish. You can pre-order Ashen's and the Polybius Heist now. He's got a mole in. Not Keith. Just a mole. I don't know if he's got a... It's a live mole. He, he, has, he has only one mouth. 
One mouth. One mouth mole. <laughs> Sorry. Ashens and the Polybius Heist. Coming soon. Right, that's good. You look good in that. Oh, you, you're on the big screen. You'll be on TVs. People will watch it and they'll say, Oh, Eli, he's handsome, isn't he? Oh, oh, Eli. Oh, he's on the big screen. Do that like up there, like onto your webcam. Put it on the webcam and do it. Do what? <laughs> look, see, it gives it. When it's below, that is what that's for. It's to make your knob look big. No, Paul, no. It smells of vinegar. It does smell of vinegar and in you, here. Were you wiping vinegar residue off your legs then? No. Yes, you were. I wasn't. I was actually, because these jeans are quite tight, I was stinking of vinegar. Down I stink of vinegar. This I'll never a, forgive this you. This has been this. a successful show. <laughs> I will never this forgive you. Successful no, I'm show. not going to forgive you. It's been successful. Right, so we're going to move on. And uh, I'm going to talk about my book for a bit. So I'm writing a book, ladies and gentlemen. And it's called Ain't Afraid No Ghost. And it's about my life, ghost hunting, being a Ghostbusters fan, going around the UK, ghost hunting, and taking part in a thing called Psychic and Science, which was a ghost tour show, like a most haunted live. Um, I'm just reading. What and I'll saying. just say this the poster for Psychic and Science had a great big psychic, and then the word science about that big underneath it. No, so it kind like of shows you, yeah. kind of like shows you what it's all about. Um, so, if you'd like to support me and help raise the money for the book, I'm 80% done. That's um, good, man. You can, you can go to, let me think, unbound.com forward slash books forward slash ghosts and uh, donate what you want and get a signed book or I'll be doing commentaries for all three, potentially four Ghostbusters films. I'll be doing audio book When's it out? It. It was meant, it's going to be out next June now, 2021. Uh, that's it's a meant, long way off, yeah, isn't I don't it? Know, it's been, Is the book meant to be out before or after that? Uh whenever I raise the money for it really oh, I can start writing it when you, yeah. okay. right. like when we get to 90 then I'll start probably start writing it then anyway the point being is that yeah it's going to be a good book and if you'd like to help support me unbound.com forward slash books forward slash uh, ghosts and I think it'll be in the chat room yeah there we go thank you very much Streamlabs it's in there you can click on it and donate if you want if you can that'd be great you got anything you want to promote why don't you talk about the film promote it for Stuart <laughs> Don't fucking put me on the spot. Do it. What was that whole thing about? Uh, no, not Keith. Uh, no, it's a mole. Uh, with a mouth. Mouth mole. What was all that about? Was it just because you have nothing to think about and say? There is a character in the film that isn't all he seems. Oh. Or she. Or she. Or it. Or they. Or them. Or at. No. Someone's a mole. Someone is a, yeah, is there, there's a mole in the organisation. Didn't Stuart do that in his last film? I don't know, I fell asleep. Yeah, you fell asleep film, watching it. it, great, professional. So, ooh, I don't like this, but it's nice. Right. You need to calm down, mate, and don't bring explosives into my house. I won't, again. I promise, Scout's on it. I'll not How's bring the slime it. going? Should we see if it's glowing up yet? Let me give it a mix. No. no. Great. I thought we at least, I mean, look, don't get me wrong, it's nice and slimy, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, oh it's gone tight. It's like that stuff, isn't it, now? Yeah. What's that stuff that we had, that we did on Barstons, that we did um, the whole bathtub full of the yellow yeah, stuff? Yeah, the, the, the Eli's Dirty Pocket game. It is very yeah. like that, isn't it? It is. I guess it's the same thing. Is this edible? Compound. No, I wouldn't. Is it? Put it one way, I wouldn't roll the dice on eating that. What does it say on the packet? Tastes like what? Look, I'm pretty sure all the does stuff Does it say is... nice? It says it's nice, yeah? It's, by, it's sodium bicarbonate and stuff. That's the, that's chemical one, I think it is. Oh, so that was just... Ke uh... No, you shouldn't... Glow-in-the-dark stuff's radioactive, isn't it? That's well, how those yeah, so don't eat it. I'm not going to. Good. No need to. It's gone too hard that. now. It needs more water. Pour a bit more water on no, it. No, I think... No, that's not e that's not ectoplasm. There you go. Don't have to put bit more, bit more, bit more. I need to lube up, lube up my slime, baby. Listen, I'll tell you what, let's do something spooky. So, in my book and in my adventures and in my solo show, uh, I went on tour with uh, this show called Psychic Science. And for most of the run, not much happened. Well, no, bits and bobs happened. I made notes of it and things like that. But the best thing was we went to Inverness. We had our final show in Inverness. And during the show, there's a segment where we get a big bloody Ouija board out. 
and we get all these people to sit around it and they do the bullshit Ouija thing, which, you know, I am not impressed with. My job at that point in the show, because I was presenting it like the host, I was standing to the side and just kind of comment when I needed to. During that seance, apparently, a little girl came through and she's all like, oh, I like playing in the churchyard because the theatre was built onto the back of an old church, I, I seem to remember. And so, like, oh, I used to play here when it was all fields, all that kind of bullshit. Yeah. It's like it was going, oh, I sense a girl. Then, during that Ouija board session, that's when I hear the EVP. Well, what became... It's not even EVP, because it's... It's you, actual I heard sound. It. Yeah. Because um, EVP is electronic voice phenomenon. It's usually one of the situations where a ghost hunter goes, can you say hello if you're a ghost, while they're recording in a haunted venue, and then they listen but back. But isn't it also when you... You tune a radio, detune a radio, yeah, and it comes that, through that. that Isn't that, that EVP? Boy, no, that is just bullshit. E EMF? No. Wasn't there a film with Michael Keaton? Yeah, White Noise. But that... That was about that that's, no, It is and it isn't, because what you're talking about is those spirit boxes which kind of flip through the stations. Yeah, but beforehand, it was just like, just a detune yeah, radio, but, wasn't it? Yeah, but you can find any noises. This has gone all like bum nuggets. It's all gone bum nuggets over here, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, we're yeah. doing this Ouija board thing. And all of a sudden, I hear in the crowd this girl's voice singing. And it went, la, la, la. And then someone in the audience heard it. And then I think I bring attention to it. And then I... You immediately said, did you hear that? Yeah, because I heard it. it. Well, was when I heard it. I reckon... Do you know what I think it was? What? Well, should we play the clip first? Let's and then play the clip. And then so I'll what you're going to hear now is the clip of what happened on the night. Because you said I didn't record the nights. But that one night, because it was our final show, I recorded it on a little audio recorder on the desk on the show. So... I go, does anyone hear that? 700 people all go, yes. All of a sudden I say, where do you think the uh, voice came from? And 700 people pointed directly at me. And so I listened back to the audio, and then this is what I heard. What you're going to hear now is the little clip, and then I'm going to loop three times, I think, the little girl's singy-songy voice. Oh, it's spooky. Here we go. Did you do it? No. Was that not someone? Was that not someone in the audience? Did you do it? Did you do it? So yeah, I'm not saying that's proof of the supernatural. All I'm saying is I can't understand where that sound came from. Now, <clears throat> someone might have been in the crowd faking it. Someone could have done it up in the balcony. There are loads of reasons what that could have been. But it felt like it happened just in front of me, like a couple of you know meters away. It's spooky. But uh, you know, against that, against that, someone doing it. Yeah. You're suggesting a member of the audience would do it. Did it, it could have been. Yeah, but. Aren't the people who are going there, they want to be convinced. They don't want to... Do you True. see what I mean? But there's also the logic of people wanting things to happen. And so, you know, like when yeah, ghost but... Bigfoot hunters go and fake some Bigfoot evidence so people still investigate Bigfoot. It's that kind of thing. People will be happily fake something. It was like that guy when we did the episode in the haunted house. Yeah. And that bloke, he was making shit up. There was one but guy... he really wanted to believe, but he was also faking it. And he was also just... feeding himself the information he wanted to hear. It's just like, you're fucking stupid. Wasn't he like... Uh, is, is it Barry? Yeah. And then it was like, do you like beans? Yeah. It's like, why would you ask a ghost if he likes no, beans? No, he said beans. His ghost thing. Oh, that's beans. right. Because ghosts like beans. Maybe it was Beanus. <laughs> it could have been. Yeah. We just don't know. Um, so the second audio I'm going to play to you, um, it came years later. So that was like 2011, I think I did that recording. And then life happens. And then when I went to Southampton, when I got that radio job, I went on a ghost hunt group with a local group and they went somewhere in Portsmouth, a place called Fort Whitley, which is a great name because it sounds like penis. And we went down in... We Whittle? Whitley. Fort Whitley. Doesn't sound like penis at all. Like a Whitley. Get your Whitley out. Yeah, that wiggly, sounds wiggly, like wiggly. a word for... Oh, wiggly, wiggly, I'm wiggly. not even going to bother. Oh, I'm sorry. You can go on about arse Does... gravy and mucusy shit lager poops. And I can't, I can't say widdly, widdly, widdly. I didn't widdly. say you can't say widdly. I said it doesn't sound like penis. It sounds like... All right, so, okay. It sounds like wiener. If, okay. I, if, you're, if you're in bed with me as a, as a loving partner, and I went, do you want to see the widdly? You'd know what I meant, wouldn't you? 
Yeah. So I get my widdly out. All right. It sounds Widdly like Widdly a Widdly. word for penis. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Widdly widdly. If it Widdly was called Widdly. if it was called Ninus or something, or Linus on the Linus on Y. Yeah. Then it would sound. Then like it wouldn't. Penis. Then I wouldn't use that joke. That's a great example. If it didn't sound like penis, then I wouldn't have used it as a penis joke. So we it went doesn't to sound Widdly. like penis. It sounds like it doesn't even. It sounds like Widdly. We thought I should have brought it up. Should have Widdly. Just Does Wiggly move. sound like penis? Yeah, Wiggly, Wiggly, Wiggly. <laughs> it does not. It does. So, it's bizarre. The group split up. We went to this uh, fort, and it's a beautiful fort. It was like built in a like hexagonal shape. So it fa- and it came out of this cliff face onto this into the sea. Was front. it built into the cliff? Yeah, face? part of it was. Right. It's really kind of cool. To you, walk was there around. stairs that could go up into? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go up. And yeah, come in. out on the top of the cliff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, it's really, inside the building. It's like half on the top and then half out right, the front, and the rest of it's yeah, underneath. Yeah. We split up, and then at some point in the middle of the night, round about midnight, we all started hearing cannon fire go off. Or it sounded like, you know, like, ba ba boom ba ba boom that kind of... Fireworks! Oh, it's fireworks. Funnily enough, why show them. Fire in that? Why? There's no point. I don't want to. It's fire. People have seen fireworks. So, I called up to the people in the toilet office and went, is anyone firing off fireworks tonight? And they went, no, we can't hear anything. I called another group who were in another part of the building and they said they couldn't hear anything. And so, um, as it turned out, the place where we heard the cannonballs was the armory where they had the cannons that, that would go out into the seafront and yeah. blast cannons out into the ships coming but in. you're claiming these to be phantom cannons. All I'm saying is there's a stone tape theory that I don't particularly buy, but stone tape theory is they believe that the makeup of old buildings had a thing in it called silica. And silica is the same kind of substance cassette tapes use to record sound. So the theory is, if an energy is charged enough, buildings could contain sounds of the past. And all you've got to do is generate. I know, it's based on a Nigel Neal story that's somehow got real science behind it. Well, it's, but it's, a, not. it's a famous uh, it's a TV play. TV it? play. Yeah. Is that the same? Yeah. It's where the theory comes the from. The thing is, Paul, silica is like glass is silica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all what? Sand is silica. But then it? a ghost hunter will say, oh, then you can get ghost sounds from anything. Right. So you know what I mean? It's, it's like, a very, always... it's almost, uh, it's a very common... Um, element, isn't it? Yeah, but especially in older buildings where the Silicon, bricks are made of it. As in yeah. Silicon Valley? I don't know how far that stretches, but ultimately... Perhaps the... that's an update of the um, of the stone tape uh, theory, the stone chip. That's yeah. a good point. Go yeah. Holograms. See, I did. I'm am paying attention. My theory about that is when we die and they can make holograms stone of us, then we've made ghosts. Think about it. You die, your memory downloads, and you could be a hologram. How is that about a ghost? It, do I have to think about no, that? No, I'm just saying, though. I, don't, I mean, we're trying to make an If we made real thing. holograms, we'd be actually making ghosts. It's fascinating. No, Science they'd be making holograms. Ghosts. No, but all intents and purposes, they'd be a ghost. The non-corporeal beings that float around and talk. And no, they don't, because they're dependent on whoever is running the hologram. Yeah, but that's the AI, the history of that person. A ghost is it. a spirit of a dead person. No, but I'm not saying it's a literal ghost we're making, I'm saying for all intents and purposes, in that case, it would be a ghost. Why are you being so contentious? <laughs> you rotten <laughs> cock bladder. Cock fucking bladder? Man. Yeah. I'm so, just trying to fucking pull you up on your mouth garbage. It's not, again. So anyway, would you like to hear the sound? Yes, you would. Here's me and Fort Whitley. <laughs> oh, I've heard sounds. this one. I know you're not going to... I'll play it to you later. Because we can't hear it in playback, otherwise it echoes, as we found out in episode 200. Here we go, Fort Whitley. This is me and some ghost hunters. And you can just about hear... I, I raised the sound as much as I could of the cannon fire that we heard. See what you think. What is that? Why, why are there cannons? What is that bang? Seriously. It's a cannon. Do they fire cannons in Portsmouth? Well, not like that loud. No. What time is it? It's not even midnight.
I don't know if that, I might have looped that, I don't know. But anyway, that was the audio. You think it was, sh- you haven't heard it yet, but when I play it to you later, you can have a full, full right, look, you're near the sea. Yeah. Stuff out to sea can be... True, but they And it also were... sound carries across water. Oh, look. At a different rate, doesn't it? It, it carries... But the sound was... Ba-ba-boom. And ba-ba-boom. sound carries through water quicker than air. Yeah, but we were... And further. Um, yes. So, look, all these theories are viable. Until you hear the audio, start your theories then. I'm just going to say it's unexplainable and it's scary. Whoa. Ooh, there you go. There's some I audio. Saw ghost. Did you? In Yugoslavia. It was uh, in a graveyard. Uh, it was a figure went wee 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 like that. What does that mean? It was cowled. When you never told me this story. Yeah, Is it bullshit? It's, no, because you made it up. No. How old are you? Uh, probably about eleven or twelve. It was sort of dusk, and I saw this figure. Wee 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 wee. It was near, <laughs> it Was it the Energizer around. Rabbit? <laughs> it went wee wee. Then it walked away from me, and it was uh, in a graveyard. So. Perhaps it's just the context made me think. Phantom. Yeah. Oh, here's me taking... So those graveyards in Yugoslavia have got lots of yew trees. And it's sort of... Oh, really? They're, they're like moving through them. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It's sort of the same scared? shape. No, but I was like... Ooh. Did anyone else see them? No. Did, did, did anyone else talk about ghosts in the area? No. Well, I don't know. They you all didn't spoke about Yugoslavia. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to have much of a conversation. They perhaps, you know... Who may go stone? What do they call John Wick? The the Gru or whatever. The Gru Gru. The, <laughs> the boogeyman. The boogeyman. Yeah, yeah. the boogeyman. Yeah, but it's, there's a word, isn't it? That all the, the oh, gangsters yeah, use. it's like a Russian word. Yeah, yeah. Mistyov. Yeah, yeah. yeah Krostyov. Rof, come on, Rof, what is Rof. it, guys? I don't know. Baby, Baba, Baba Yaga. Yaga. Baba Yaga. Wasn't that a song by uh, the Who? Baba Yaga. No, it was <sighs> Pink Purple. Baba Riley, isn't it? Baba Riley. <laughs> Don't fucking Pink start. Purple. You can't remember shit. I like the band Pink What's Purple. What's the fucking Who song called, someone? Pink Purple. Baba Yaga. Baba O'Reilly. Yes, thank you. Bashkina. Uh, yeah. Baba O'Reilly. Baba O'Reilly. Baba O'Reilly. Good day to you. Wah! That's Baba O'Reilly. <laughs> Wah! Good day to you, my what? darling. Irish... Be- oh, fuck off. I'm, ki- I'm firing on all cylinders here, mate. You're fucking not. Right, well, again, you got any other ghostly stories? I'm quite glad lockdown's coming, so we don't have to do this again. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Right. Um, what are we doing? What, I don't know, oh, mate. It's time for our trick and treat section of the show. Oh. If you've seen the if you've seen Digitizer, the Halloween special, you saw um, uh, Biffo and Sanya do a uh, corner shop, corner, corner shop, corner. I've complained about this to them, about their corner shop corner. Now, I don't like how it infringes on cheap show property. How does it? Because they go, corner shop corner. It's a bit like off-brand brand off, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's a it's different thing, though, because they just taste stuff. It's well, more of a price of uh, all I'm saying is, cheap eats rip off, isn't it? All I'm saying, mate, is they better watch it. I think we should say, this. I think we should have a new segment. You'll get this, Biffo. I think we should have a new segment. Tuck shop. Tuck shop. Tuck shop. Just call it tuck shop. Tuck shop. Tuck tuck shop. Tuck 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 Flaming Five Challenge. How hot can you handle? Let's start at the cold ones. So there are five beans. The first one is sriracha, which is yellow. Then green for jalapeno. Then a kind of dark brown for cayenne. Habanero is orange. And then at the end is kind of a pinky purple. Red is Carolina Reaper. they got Reaper in it. So we're going to go and take this challenge. Now when Biffo did it, it was all like... Uh, uh, uh. And it's like, just, and it's, Sanya was just like, what are you doing? It's not really? that bad. Just open it. Oh, mate, this is. I've got it. Have you? Yes. Right, so let's get out for five. Right? Ooh. 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 What's the Huff report, Mr. Silverman? Extremely chillily. Can I have a snuff? Ooh, fuck. That's the smell of chili, baby. It's very peppery. Right, what are we starting with? We'll get them all out and we'll separate them up into the five levels so we, so we don't have to fish around in a bag. So we've got that one, 
that one, that one. Is that the same as that one? I don't know. Is that the same as that one? This is the problem with these things. You never know. I can tell. Yes, those are all the same. All right, and then we got that one. And we got those two. Ch so check on the box. We got that, that. We need another bright pink one because we've got. No, we'll just do one of each. Green, pink. We got that. So we're not mix. tasting those. You've had your fingers all over them. Well, then we'll get another. Oh, fuck me. You do me heading tonight. You fucking do me heading. Pour more out. No. Right, so I've got four here. We're missing one. I've got green, yellow. What are the colours? There are no more colours. There's this five. So there's are obviously there? there's five. Sriracha, jalapeno, cayenne. So there's... Is that one? Is that a slightly different hue? Yeah, these two are a different hue. Yeah, that's it. Oh. I've got them. So let me have a look so I get it in the right order and you can match it. So we got... Uh, I think it's that one first, then green, then the brighter yellow, and then uh, the dark... I think that one, and then that one. I think it's in that order. Would you agree? That, 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 that. I think so. I think we're close enough. I think we're close enough. Let me just get um, camera two on. I don't, haven't got enough beans. There you go. You must have. You got that one, that one. You got a green one. So what, which one am I missing so here? So you're missing a bright red one, which is there. There you go. You should have enough now. Right, ready? So we're going to start is with that this the one. Hottest? No. So start with that one. Ready? That one. This is the, that is the Sriracha. Hottest. No. This is that. Start with this one, the Sriracha. Sriracha. It's just, have we got the same one? Yeah. Here we go. Sriracha. Oh, there. It's the garlic. Oh, God. It's quite I mean, hot. it's not hot, but it's fucking. No, that is quite hot. Is it? I think I got the hot one. Oh. Oh, God. All right. All right, the, hit, the heat hit me. And that's what the least one. I think we might have got them confused. Jalapeno. I like jalapeno. Jalapeno time. Oh, shit. I've been looking at that camera. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. Ready? The sriracha is hotter than sriracha it should be. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do this. Yeah, you got three more. Easy. Ah, uh, cayenne, cayenne. Now, which is that one? Which one? That one. The one that you're pointing at. Cayenne. <coughs> oh, oh, go on. Trick and treat. <laughs> oh. Trick this treat. is terrible. Next one. Oh, smoky. Mm. You know it's good. It's smoky. <laughs> these you can tell these are jelly belly because they actually do. <coughs> They taste like the different Shit. peppers. Yeah, they do. I'll give them that. Did you taste? You could taste the garlic in the sriracha. You could actually, yeah. I'll give that to it. Oh, fuck it out. Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Two more. What I got next? What is this one? The habanero. Oh, oh. fuck me. I got the sweat on. The reaper's going to be well bad. Let's find out. Habanero. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, oh God! They are hot as fuck, aren't they? Yeah, they're bright as fucking hot. Oh, oh, <sighs> oh, mate, I'm not doing the reaper. Oh, oh, oh God! Oh God! I'm not doing the reaper. He should do the reaper, shouldn't he, boys and girls? Should Eli do the reaper? Should Eli do it, boys and girls? Type you know in below. Because it's a jelly belly. Oh God. It sticks in your teeth. You can't get it all out of the fucking mouth. And it's all just oh, fucking God. releasing it. Oh. Do it. The same. Do it. Here we go. Carolina Reaper. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that does taste like habanero. Though. Yeah, it does. But it's hot. Come on. Ready? No, this is just pure bullshit. Three. Why do we agree to this? Oh, you, you don't have to do it. But if you do, you'll be letting me oh, lose down. Ready? Carolina Reaper. <sighs> down your little pee pee. <coughs> Oh. It's not gonna make it go away if you do that. Oh. It's not like a. Oh my god. Oh. It was hot, man. Uh. 
Impressive. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this, but he is crying. <laughs> that was kind of impressive. Oh, that, is some... that is actually quite impressive. I take it back, Biffo. That was surprisingly Ooh. hot. A lot of these are shit. A lot of them don't have heat. Because we've done this in the past oh. on the podcast. Yeah, but Bean Boozle, that's actually they've gone for it, haven't they? You know what I mean? Whoa. Oh. Oh. The problem is... Because it's a sweet, oh. it sticks to your teeth, and it keeps releasing the heat into my mouth. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I'm gone. I can't fucking take this anymore. We've got Benny, who's irritating curiosity. so hot on the way up it was like it was like trying to vomit it was like trying to vomit fucking lava now I'll give you a hundred pounds if you eat the whole bag no in way, one go no way I'll I give want you to see the money pounds. on the table 150 <laughs> quid 150 quid you eat the whole bag yeah in one go yeah you have to go get the cash oh mate I can't leave the flat in the middle of a stream I'm very very tempted to give 150 quid just to see you in agony for an I hour. could do it so, we're going to end today. Close the door, mate. We don't want to let the demons in. We're going to end today with some true evil. We are going to summon the dead, Mr. Silverman. We're going to use a Ouija board and we're going to do it. Oh, I've got slime all over this lighter and now I've got slime all over my hand. This is just not working out. Do you get it oh. set up and I'll change the... Uh, yeah, we've got the music, background music for the seance. <coughs> Don't peek on the floor, mate. Uh, uh, I can't burp. Every time I burp, it kicks off again. Oh, God. Right, this terrible. is a great Halloween special. Terrible oh. stuff. Well, that's a lot of fun if you want to play that with your friends. If you've got them. I don't have them. Right, I'm gonna get this. Have you got have you got something to do for this? Right, here we go. So you may have noticed, you may have heard that Poundland got all spooky this year and they decided to uh, release a, a Ouija board. Well, spirit board really, if you want to get uh, crazy about it. And then a lot why, of people who believe why is in it a spirit board. I don't know actually I think it was has been called the spirit board and Ouija's more of a brand I think Hasbro owned the brand so as a result you probably can't use the phrase Ouija board but you can okay. use spirit board okay. it's just a bit of cardboard with the alphabet on I mean, so anyone... it's like vacuum cleaner and hoover yeah, yeah kind of I guess now a lot of people complain about this because all of a sudden people are saying oh it's an unfinished item you can't you can't summon demons and blah 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 and you don't know what you're messing with you could do it with Scrabble board, you know what I mean? It's just this. Yeah. But, as a result, we've got one. Now, thanks to Stuart Ashen for handing this to us, fresh from his own review. And because um, because they took about the stores, no one could buy them. So, there we go. Thank you, Stuart. Now, here it is. In all its glory. I love when people use these. and like They go to France or Germany, and, like, and then they do a seance. And then it's like... Oh, can you hear me, Adolf? And they go, yes, nine, we can. And they're like, well, how does a German know how to use an English Ouija board? Well, you know what I mean? It's all because that. Because they've got access to Google in the afterlife, right? right. right I'm going to make it a bit more spooky. Google here. Translate. I'm going to make it spooky in here. Getting all spooky now. All right. I'll put the lightning on. That was a bit spooky. And I'm going to monitor it with, a, with, our, with our thing. With all that, I'll just turn that off because that's crap. Right, so. 
K2 meters at the bottom of the screen. If anything spoopy happens, then this will pick it up and we'll see that you're able to see it on the screen at home. What do I use both hands? No, you got this. It's a planchette. And you said there's no other thing in the world that is called a planchette. So. It just always surprised me that, that, that one part of a spirit board has this unique name. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The board is like a spirit board. Yeah. They're both words that are used in other contexts. Do you see what I mean? It's not called a, a Jinga Jongo. No. Or a Woody Man Charlie. <laughs> You're right, it's called none of those things. Willy you know. Man Charlie! Hello, hi, I'm Willy Man Charlie. Oh, I thought we weren't doing characters. Let's character. see if he can come through. What, Willy Man Charlie? Yeah. All right, well. Perhaps he'll come through. Planchette, so what you do is you put this on the board and then you put your fingers lightly on what it. What about that way up? Can we do it that way? No, it's, it has to be that way. It just has to be. For whatever reason, that's the way you do well, it. Well, that's because it's says, yeah. Uh, so. How do we know if yes or no? Well, no, because you have yes or no on the board, or sun and moon. Why does it say yes to... or no on the planchette? Is that just decoration? It is just decoration, I think, in this case. I have to say, Paul, for a quid... It's all right. Very good. It's a big piece of cardboard with the alphabet on and yes or but no. But I quite like the design. It's, it's nice, not too it? scary, you know what I mean? It's not... It's not. It's classic. It's, it's quite good. Now, people forget that you can get... Well, you could big get Big planchette as well. It's big planchette. Because Hasbro owned the rights to this, you can go out and buy a blue one for boys and a pink one for girls. You know, that's what Ouija board is. Because effectively, it was made originally as a kind of magic eight ball of its time. It was for like, will I marry a sailor? Will he be rich? Yes. Oh, will he have dark hair? It was kind of like that. Then during the boom of spiritualism, and... Uh, uh, my mouth is full of those fucking disgusting I feel like things. I've done a thousand vomits, and yet I know I haven't. I've got that burn. Right down. Yeah, yeah. So, look, the moon and the sun, the moon and the sun are there for a reason, and that is because that reason is if they don't speak English or they can't read lightning, you could say, if you want yes, go to the sun. If you want no, go to the moon. Oh, if you couldn't read or write. Yeah. Oh, so that's traditional. The 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 sorry. There's the usually moon. some kind of iconography on it. So if they don't understand the they, alphabet, you can tell it's the like spirit oh, that yeah. Are you a five year old boy? Yes. Or oh, then you can't spell your name because you're a workhouse pauper in uh, 1852 like, yeah. and blah blah. So go to the moon and the sun. So you can do it in a kind we're of binary one way. Hand. How are we going to do it? Well, here's my issue. First of all, it's lovely and it's nice, but this is cardboard. That's cardboard. There's a lot of friction, right? These are usually wood. And they have a little bit of nubbins on them here, so they can sit above the board slightly. And but they slide very smoothly. Yeah, as a result. Whereas this is cardboard on cardboard. Now, so but you, you think it's going to hold up the idea motor? Well, usually it takes half an hour for this to get going. When I've seen it in action, there's when people happening. don't feel like they they are in fact doing it. Yeah. So that's the actual effect, isn't it? Yeah. When no one feels like they're doing it, but it's just sort of a... They've done tons of tests What's it called? Idea motor? Idea motor Idea motor. Movement. It's like the yeah. micro movements we don't know we're making. It's like not just fingertips. It's also like micro But it micro needs some gestures. time. And you'd, it, you'd expect it not to get going with this, wouldn't you? Because it's t there's the too friction, much friction. Yeah. And there's too much. But... We don't have time either. The problem is they've debunked these many times over in the past in that they know it's cognitive bias, you know, group cognitive bias. I've seen people use these on ghost hunts. And the minute someone goes, oh, I'm sensitive, I think my granddad's coming through, all of a sudden it's like, is it my granddad? Yes. Are you in the room? Yes. That's exactly oh, what that guy on the ghost hunt. Yeah. Exactly. Is your name that. Billy? Is your name Beans? They've done tests where they've covered the board in tracing He was just like literally moving it like yeah. that, though. You, you can see his arm tensing. Do you know what I mean? Oh, no, because he wanted motive. it to happen. Hated There's him. a difference between like micro movements and him going, oh yeah, it's a ghost. Oh, he's fuck really me. like, like I'm convinced he's ruining it for everyone else as he, well. He was ruining it for everyone else. There's audio that I didn't put in the podcast. A because it was boring, and B because it's kind of embarrassing for him. Because I wanted to be when we did the edit for that podcast, I wanted to be reasonably fair, not take the piss out of the people going to it, and more of our reaction yeah. to everything. But he said some fucking garbage that yeah, night. There was, was all sorts of shit. He was anyway. So, I don't think this is going to work because A, ghosts aren't real and neither are Ouija boards. But he also might have had a dead relative so who he, really, he, might, he might have wanted to believe. Do you know what I mean? There might be some deep psychological need that he wanted, he wanted it to be real. As I say, and I will say in my book, but as I said in my solo show, it's hard to judge a lot of these people because they're doing it for very different reasons. Mm. Some people do it because they're bored and their life's shit and at the weekend they can go ghost hunting and that's exciting. The other thing is like, I remember, I've said this story before and it's true, but one woman went on a ghost hunt with us uh, when I was having out with these crews and she was really into the whole night and wanted to know all these questions and ask, answers and all the technical jargon. 
So outside, I overheard her, and basically her husband had like two or three weeks to live left of cancer or whatever. So she's getting ready to And she was kind of using this as their way of processing it, going, oh, if I can find out this ghost tonight, then when he dies, I kind of in my head think he's going somewhere else. And it's not my job at this point to go, you know, that's full of shit, right? No, but it's sad, isn't it? It's very because sad. People but get fooled and hid without their money. Like, it's the way it goes, though. So uh, let's see if some cunt comes through then. So we're just going to put our hands Both on the hands. Just well, you can put. Usually, it's people do this. Just very lightly put their fingers on top of it, so you're almost okay. not touching it. Okay. Right. And we're going to try and contact some spirits. So what do we say? Is there anyone there? Yeah, we got to we've got to do two rituals. One at the beginning, one at the end. One okay. to open it, and one to close it. Because if you don't close it, you can take Dan a demon home. Don't want to do that. Don't want to do Unless that. Unless they're good at blowjobs. Dan Aykroyd's ghost from Ghostbusters. Yeah, uh, Diamond Select. Ghostbusters comes up again. He says he's not going to mention it. I know, it. but fuck it. Right, so here are Diamond Select, or whatever the fucking toy company this year that's popular is. How about we get a diorama of Dan Aykroyd on a bed getting his knob sucked by a ghost? I'd pay. I, I would not buy Dan that Aykroyd. toy. It's Bill Murray. It's Dan Aykroyd in the dream sequence. Well, not, well, it is a dream sequence, but it's only in the dream sequence in the montage because in real life it's part of the plot. That was at a thought as well. Was that really? That's Dan Aykroyd. Is that, is... I don't remember that bit. Is it just a, a few it's second? A mo- it's a montage. The montage, of including the bit where they go into the, which ends with them going into the fancy restaurant. No, Again. that's the bit before the montage when they oh, go, okay. "We're back, we're in business," and then montage happens of here's their career. Yes, there's a bit in it where right. it's meant to be a dream sequence. You see Dan Aykroyd in bed in the firehouse, then it cuts to his wibbly wobbly, and then he's lying in a bed, and then it goes and to going, Piers, ooh, ooh, ooh. and then she disappears, and then he's like a zip under, he's like. Oh, like that that's exactly how it goes and then he falls out of the bed in the real world however that's a whole scene from the script that they just filmed and cut out and put it in they just put a little bit of it in here's what I don't get they put it in the montage for I say no reason it's not for kids is it well no but here's the thing it was like Dan Aykroyd was like I don't care what you cut but if you fucking cut that blowjob scene I'm taking my name off the project really no I'm not not, no but why else would you leave that scene in you cut it out because of length like that whole scene because him and Winston go to a fort in America and they dress oh, themselves up. I think up. that should have kept that shit in. But for whatever reason, they cut it out of the film as a plot, but they decided to use it because it was so good for the well, fake Well, it's just a gag, sequence. wasn't it? It's, it's a, a gag. a very good one. Yeah, but it's the kind of sort of, you know, it's what they're known for is that sort of risque humour. National Lampoon, all of that. That's where they came from. It was, it was National Lampoon right. I mean? Yeah. It's the stable. Yeah. So people sort of, I think, they left it's, it in because of some audience expectation from what those people... Yeah, no, I, that's probably I mean? true. That's yeah. probably true. But at the same time, it functions no purpose. It doesn't, and it context. doesn't really sit. But there's a lot of things about Ghostbusters, isn't there? That are just are too adult. Are sort of, it's stuff you don't realise to get much older. I just think these days, they, 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 the, the line between children's content and adult content is much more in, in more place, rigid. isn't it? It's these like, days. this is a kid's film, this is an adult yeah, film, yeah. whereas in the past it was like, Goonies had lots of very yeah, yeah, adult things. Like, yeah. You know when Mouth goes around the house and he's like, this is where we keep the sex yeah, kept all perverts that and the drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so let's see. We don't know. Don't press it too hard. We're going to see if we can get this Ouija board moving. So, so what do we say first? What's the dear, ritual Dear first? spirits, please come forward and... Um, Say hello. We're our, we're vessels Come for on, you. you. Fuck that up. Shut you? up. Let me do it. What Go do on. I have to get? What just, do I have to just say? welcome the ghosts in and say we're open to interference. Hello, any spirits that are be are here? Be are here. <laughs> Shut up, oh, you fuck that right, up. Right, so I'll start you? again. I'll yeah. start again. Be are here. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there. Shut up. Be are here. <laughs> fuck off. You do that every sentence. Yeah, I I don't often get, sentence. yeah I, but that's why I'm enjoying right, it so okay. much. <laughs> Let me have this. Hello, spirits. Don't sound depressed. Hello, spirits. Here we go. If you are here, we are open to you contacting us and showing us you're here. So please, be, be my guest. Oh! Oh, I'm being possessed by someone. See why Ashton didn't cast you now, man. That's <laughs> <laughs> fucking right, wasn't I? Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, I, I think something's come through. It's. What's going on? Rock on, Tommy. 
Uh, There's I'm, something in this. I'm Bobby Ball. It's Bobby Ball. Uh, oh, why rock, ain't you rock on, Tommy? Rock on, Tommy. Rock on, Tommy. So tell me, Bobby. Oh, oh, tell me, Bobby. Oh, yes. What's it like in the afterlife? Who else is up there? Oh, I see them all here. Rock on, Tommy. You're giving me an headache. Uh, Sean Connery who recently arrived just a couple of hours Wait, after you. Get to that. Get to that. Right. Get to that a bit. That's the big finale. All right. Oh, rock on, Tommy. Rock on, Tommy. Does he say oh. anything else? Did he say anything else? I hate you. I hate that no. duck. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're getting you all well as well. Have you got any questions? You're getting for spit Bobby the Bob? monkey. Have you got any questions for spit Bobby? Spit the Ball? monkey. Spit the dog. Who's the monkey? What's he called? Jasper or something. O- 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 Orville and, and, and What's the Cuddles. Cuddles! Cuddles is oh, coming yeah. through! Oh, Keith Harris is here! Hang on, here we go! Oh, it's going off. Oh. It is going right oh. off. Oh. Oh. I wish I could fly right up to the sky, but I can't. You're there! Hello, Eli! Uh, hello, Orville! Hello, Orville! Uh-huh. As voiced by the <laughs> puppeteer! Keith Harris. Now, we've got any questions yes, for Orville. Orville. I wish I could fly. But now you can fly because you're an angel. I'm an angel. So it's you now you can fly, so you don't have to sing that song. Oh. On, do you have a new song? I from wish them? I were alive. Because I was only five, now I'm dead. Oh. I'm dead. Should we do the end ritual? I hate that dog. I think I'm going to have to do uh, the ritual uh, by myself. Uh, help. Mm. Uh, oh, I'm Roger Moore. <laughs> oh, you've got some competition for the 007 in there I now, don't you? I the 007 in Britain, the whole of heaven. Bob, Bob, what about Bob Holness? Um, he was he was 007, um, wasn't he? Uh, I can't do Bob Holness. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, God. What uh, about Bobby Bollocks? Oh, he's, that is Bobby Ball, isn't it? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, Oh, who's this? Oh, <laughs> who's this coming through? Oh, this has really affected you. They are very powerful, these Ouija balls. Good game. Good game. Good game. Now, this Sir, Sir Forsyth. Oh, here we go. I'm 11. Oh, marvellous. I'm j- I'm really Sir Forsyth. Hello, dear. Someone told me you were a bit of a wife slapper upper. Uh, who told you that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's do the fucking closing ritual. Wait, Sir Forsyth's oh. phantom's getting on. <laughs> Oh, 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 Jimmy. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yes. Oh, 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 I'm, oh, it's Sean Connery. Oh, it's Sean Connery. <laughs> Sean Connery. Yes. What? Do, Junior. Do you have anything you'd like to say, Nate? Freshly dead. I am the last dragon. Mmm, Roger, I see. Sworn, <laughs> I see you have arrived. I've kept the bar open. All right, we're having the two yes, dead that's bonds. very good, Roger Moore, <laughs> yes. Yes, oh, bring is. back, you boring yeah. old wankers. Bring back... Oh! That was Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do... The, Paul. Give them the back of your hand. I'm going to do... Yes. <laughs> I am the last dragon. You put You've been really to violent ball. towards me today. I want I'm, to play golf. I'm going to do the Shocking. ceremony. I'm Shocking. Gonna, I'm doing the ceremony. Shocking. Unless Bobby Ball comes back. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Here he is. Oh, I'm doing this. Any other I'm doing this. I'd like to see. No. Produce it, Roddy. Roddy, produce it. Roddy Corbin. Just don't do someone who's alive, because then the cursed cheap show is really going to go. Hello, I'm Noel Edmonds. Noel Edmonds. Noel Edmonds. Noel Edmonds. How do you live? And old Edmunds. Uh, hello, I'm Terry Morgan, so I am diddly diddly diddly. Oh, fuck me. Can we do the ceremony? Paul? Well, wait, you've got to get the spirit out. Exercise me now, haven't you? Oh, God. Get uh, out. You've got to help me, Eli. I've got all these light entertainment spirits flowing through me. <laughs> spirits Ooh. now be gone, please. We need you to go I'm now. I'm a teapot. We I'm a teapot. Spirits, I'm please teapot. leave, Paul. Because uh, we need to finish the stream. <laughs> now, Christ. Oh, yeah. Paul's paint is in foul noise, everybody. Are you okay, mate? Oh, God. Well, we've, this is dark power, man. We can't... We can't... This is, this is not This is not acceptable. Just, it needs to be treated with respect. Okay. Kids, 
don't play with the dark forces. Did you close the ceremony down or did you leave the yes, gates open for ghosts to come I in? I closed it down. Did, 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 did he? Yes. I'm like haunted. Is it time to play out? Yeah. So, we got, what are we going to play out with tonight? Yeah. Right. Well, don't. We hope you've had a lovely Halloween with us. We've created slime. We've sprayed vinegar on the roof. <laughs> Eli stayed in his mate's couch with a pen because he can't draw. Uh, I can draw. The dead. We pimped Polybius heist. That's quite good. Mr. Biffo popped by to say hello. Please watch the Digitizer Halloween special. It's very good. Me and, he, uh, me and him going through the woods. Fascinating stuff. Um, that's it. We've got a mess to clean Did up. Did you so. see anything? Have you not watched the video yet? No, it's no. fucking two hours long. Yeah, it's a bit long, mate. I've broken it up. Um, but uh, yeah, no. Uh, there was a bit where we're in the middle of the woods and the EMF meter goes off and it's quite high, but we're in the middle of the woods and I can't explain that because what's weird was cable. Well, no, because here's the thing. Cable. I put it close to the ground, stops. I bring it to my chest height, it goes off. No, because I bring it up and then it goes off again. But and then pull, it's off pull, here pull, pull, and pull, off here. Pull, pull. What? If you think about it, think about a magnetic field. Right, but so they be consistent? Consistent? have you seen the pictures of magnetic fields? Yeah. They're not right on the magnet, are they? They kind of curve out at a bar. I don't know. So if there's a cable under, it won't be on the ground level. It'll be the really. You see what I'm saying? I don't know, but that's a good yeah. series, any. It's yeah. fascinating stuff. But we are going to play out with a very spooky song tonight, aren't we, Mr. Silverman? Yes, it's a favourite of the show, Paul. It, it's a favourite, and we've wanted to play it for such a long time. And it's an appropriate uh, moment to bring it up again. Oh, this do you is. Want us to check the slime. It's the same. Let's Let's try the lights out. Let's yeah. see. Let's see. Right, I'm just going to hold it under the light directly for a bit. A couple of seconds. Is it glow in the dark? No. Yes. Give no. me that. Give me. Give me it over here. Wait. I'll turn the light what? out. No, I'll tell you what we'll do. Hang on. Torch. Put the torch on it. How about that? So while I'm lighting it up, tell us what we're playing out tonight with, with what we're doing. This is uh, Mephisto, who is the, a devil. The devil himself. Well, he's not Beelzebub. He must have had a different, a different... Well, he is the devil, isn't he? But Mephisto is the one that... Who's uh, Magic Mandrake? It's the B-side. That's the A-side. Oh, it's B-side Mephisto. Mephisto is the B-side. Mephisto is the stronger track. It certainly is. Because Magic Mandrake sounds gash. No, it's pretty good Magic Mandrake as well. If you're what? into obscure um, Brit disco. Yeah. So we're playing out with that tonight, which is exciting stuff, isn't it? Um, I like it. He comes and he... Um, Does he? <laughs> Mephisto is the one who... Um, it's the Faust thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Faust. He, he's the, he makes deal. So he's yeah. the deal maker devil. He's the deal maker devil. He does it for your soul. But on this record, he's a fucking horny guy. He's isn't he? horny. He, he, that, you know what? There's vinegar. There's of, um, fizzy vinegar all over the bottom of this bowl. It's fine. Now it's not on your fucking hand. fine. Right, ready. Let's try it. Right. Look, uh, that's a bit. That's a glowy bit because it's like unmelted. Uh, no, let's just put it all in. No, I'm going to keep this separate. Turn right. the lights out. Here we go. Is it going to glow up? No. 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 no, we probably did need to put more in, didn't we? Really, but yeah. that's still slimy. Look at that. Very oh, slimy. That's very slimy. Very slimy. Oh, uh, we've made very slime. Very okay. right. slimy indeed. Right. So, why don't you queue up the final it's got track? Vinegar on it. Can you put it back on the plate so I don't get it? There we go. Job done. <laughs> Happy days. For fuck's sake. Right. Come on. Get. We're going to play out, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for some, watching us tonight on this Halloween special. We're approaching the midnight hour now, so um, don't summon any demons. Don't play it yet. Don't play it yet. I'm saying goodbye. Don't play it yet. I'll tell you when to play it. <laughs> You've been really arsy tonight. You've been arsy. Oh, I've been arsy. Arse. What is the damage you fucking done? No damage. That's going to fade away. Half of it's gone already. Shut up. Shut up, you big baby. This is what I mean about RC. No violent. wonder you're been lonely. violent twice. No wonder you're lonely. Right, so, thank you for supporting Cheap Show and joining us tonight on Twitch. If you'd like to help us at all financially and you're able to do so, go to patreon.com forward slash Cheap Show. Donate what you can. You get access to magazines, podcasts, exclusive videos, all kinds of trinkets. Um, what else? 
The website, thecheapshow.co.uk. Yay. Please listen to our Halloween episode. It's in stereo and mono, depending on which version you want to listen to. We did a lot of uh, stereo work yeah. running around in here. And I'd, we had we a lot of fun. We recorded it in here, didn't we? Yeah, and we did it all au naturel. Like Dogma 95 for audio. What do you mean? Well, we didn't. We kind of lived it in. We created the sound effects in the scene with us. Yes. Where, like him yeah. calling and yeah, yeah. the flamethrower and all this stuff. I did. We did the flamethrower. Yeah, we did all that. It's good. So, did you yeah. use the voice? The, the, the no, because that was embarrassing. So I put yeah. sound effect on. Well, even it's when not. I saw, it dog, no, because even it. afterwards, you're still going. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't delete that out, so I left it in. We should do an episode where we just use mouth effects for all the sound effects. Have you not heard the last 199 <laughs> episodes of Dog? No, though. we should, though. But uh, yeah, if you uh, hopefully you've enjoyed thank what we you. do, this uh, will go up on YouTube hopefully in the next few days. Thanks for uh, watching, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. And if you felt that I was like touchy and there was some genuine anger in my voice towards Paul tonight and vice versa, there was. There was loads. There was, there was many times I wanted to break his neck. Well, it's right. Fun. You won't have to see me for fucking ages. Yeah, yeah. He's so going into lockdown. As we go into a potential second lockdown, and as this Halloween, we it's not go potential. Critical. They've announced it. Oh, I it. know, but I'm just trying to keep it light. Anyway, as we go into a fucking another misery month, we're going to hopefully b provide you with more cheap shows. We will. We so. absolutely will do that. Yes, so Paul, yes. pre order Ashes and the Polybius. Please ice. do. I'm Watch in the it. Digitize a Halloween special. Yeah. Download our Halloween edition this year while it's still pertinent and have a lovely Halloween. If you oh, wait. Did you see it just go off then? It's just. Yeah. Get Mephisto on. Maybe we can summon the devil at the end. So we're going to play out with Mephisto and hopefully, hopefully we'll get the devil to come in. That'll be exciting, wouldn't it? Here we go. <laughs> come on, ladies and gentlemen. Sing along and dance at home. It's Mephisto. Fucking noodle posse. People love noodles, right? It's a fact of cheese shows you're gonna have to fucking accept. <laughs> Welcome to the show.